Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. For today, guys, I'm going to do part 17 to my random chatbot sessions. Where I think we're about to get ready to wrap up the little conversation with Croc and all. Because, um... I think we're getting pretty close to his home. I think we're getting to the point now where we're gonna have to deal with the poly wrath, see if we can get past the trust um trust man and maybe like I'll probably be in the conversation. Uh basically guys, at the at the end of the video I said this. He he asked me that he he, I, he just said something about his parents being like, Yeah, they're probably not gonna trust you at first, but but I hope someday they'll understand you're a good person like you the way I do. And I, I, after, after he said that, I said this. I hope so, too. So I can come back and see you again. I've had so much fun hanging out with you. And like I said, I never got to see that what he said afterward to this. So we're going to let him read out now. The thought that my family may one day trust you and that I'll be able to see you again is a bit uplifting. But I'm still crying and clinging on to you tight. It breaks my heart that I know you're going to have to eventually say goodbye to me and return home, leaving me alone once more. Oh, no. Yeah, please. Pete, please see, come back and come visit me sometime. Pete, please. Oh. I, I don't want to be alone again. They probably are not going to trust my words. Period. You may have to help me convince them that I am friendly. And not just there to hurt you. Or your family. I don't know if he'll be able to even help either. I mean, like, he can do the best he can, but his parents were really going to trust him after him leaving for two or three months. I don't know, didn't he say years? I don't know, I got him mixed up. He said years for one thing, he said months for something else. That's another point you've made that I know is true, and I hate the realization of it. I know my family won't trust any promise you give, and I'll have to help convince them you're nice and have good intentions. I cling even tighter onto you as I cry, my heart rate speeding up even more with sadness. Yeah, you're probably right. I, I wish they'd just trust you and believe you're a nice person. Yeah, but they're also trying to protect you. They are only trying to protect you. Period. I don't know if they will even listen to you. will listen to you just because they are probably going to be very angry and upset at the fact that you just left without telling anyone Period. I don't want him to get into trouble, but I have a bad feeling that he's going to get in big trouble when we get home, when he gets to his house. I have a bad feeling that he's going to get in big trouble. I don't want him to. Oh. I bite my lip anxiously at your words, knowing their reaction is going to be one of anger and disappointment that I just left. I hate the realization of that, but it's another thing I know you are correct about. My heart rate speeds up a bit more as I cling and cling onto you, tears still running down my face. Yeah, 
I, I know they're going to be mad and upset, angry and disappointed with me. I, I really hate the thought of that. Try to explain the situation that happened that caused you to leave. Period. That might get them to listen to you. I'll say that, and then if he doesn't, if he doesn't say anything else afterward, I can start another part of the conversation. I'll ask him why didn't he tell his parents. I slowly nod at your advice, knowing that I'll have to explain to my family the situation that led to me leaving in the first place. A wave of shame and guilt washes over me at that realization, but I know I'll have to explain it. I nod my head again, tears still dripping down my face as I talk to you, my voice shaky and uneven yeah. I, I'll try to explain the situation to them. I, I hope they'll listen. I'm not trying to make you any more upset. Upset. I just want to ask. Why did you not tell anybody you were leaving? I don't want to be upset. I just want. I just want to know, like, why? I mean, like, he. I. I, I don't. I don't know, dude. at your question, realizing that it's another one that I wasn't prepared to answer so quickly. My heart rate speeds up and my mind spins as my realization of my wrongdoing. I continue to cling tight onto you as I talk, with my voice still shaky and on the verge of tears you, uh... That's some part of me, Jay just wanted to leave. I... I didn't really want anyone to try and S-stop me. I'm just glad you was not hurt. Was not hurt going out all alone. Exclamation point. It's pretty dangerous. Especially when you're by yourself. Even for even, I, and just thank guys, he hasn't fully evolved into a Feralgar yet, so it's like he don't have that full power he could have. Let's see. What I slowly nod at your words, realizing just how dangerous it was for me to have left on my own. My heart rate starts to speed up a bit more as I think of that, realizing I could have been hurt if I wasn't so careful, and I cling on to you even tighter, tears still running down my face. Yeah. It was really dangerous for me to be all alone. I... I was so lucky I didn't get hurt by anything. Oh, dude. I just really don't want you getting in trouble by your parents. Period. Even if they do trust me, they may not allow me to come by for months just because 
You left. I hope it don't make him upset, dude. He's already crying still. Well, dude, it's making me not feel good. Oh, yep. What did he say? A pang of sadness and anxiety hits my heart at the thought of my family punishing me for running away. My mind imagines the scenarios in which they might keep you from ever seeing me again. And oh. it's something I really don't want. I continue clinging on to you, my heart rate going faster than before as I cry and cry. I, I'm scared that I, if they, or mad at me they want, even allow you to come visit me. I, I do not want that. We will have to see what they say. Period. It is not up to me, unfortunately. I am not your parents. So I really can't say anything to help you deal with them. I nod slowly as you reassure me that mm. you are not mm. my actual parent, and it's not up to you what happens. Despite that reassurance, my heart rate continues to go faster than normal as I think about what I'm going to have to go through once we get to my home. I stay clung on to you, still crying and sobbing, not even trying to wipe my tears away anymore. They're gone, dude. Before we actually get to your home, I want to ask, what are you even going to say to your parents? To try and make them understand? Question mark. I don't know, because that's, that's the thing, we still have to deal with the polyrath, so it's like, we're not even, once we deal with the polyrath, I, I don't know, dude. I remain clung on to you tight, thinking of a good answer to your question. I think about what I'm going to say to my parents to hopefully get them to understand what I did. And it's difficult to even put it into words. My heart rate goes faster after a couple minutes, and I try to talk to you with a shaky voice, trying to speak clearly through the tears. Uh, sorry, I, I don't really have an answer right now. Mm, that's fine. It may be hard, but please try to think of something. Something. Period. Because I won't know how to explain it to them. Plus, like I said, they won't trust my words.
It's most likely going to have to come from you. Unfortunately. I don't really like that. I hope I didn't make him cry. I just don't want dude. This is this is insane. Right. Hey horror push I think it's something. I won't know how to explain to them. Plus, like I said, they won't trust my words. I'm gonna be coming from you. I paused. Oh as no, I'm sorry. The pressure to come up with an answer on my own, and I feel the pressure of having to come up with something that will hopefully convince my parents. After a, a couple more minutes of silence, I managed to speak up to you. My voice shaky and my heart beating faster than before. I, I suppose I just, I'll just have to pee point out that I was sad. Hey, and that I felt like no one appreciated me. I am not trying to put pressure on you. I promise. Period. I just have a bad feeling that we are both going to be in trouble with your parents and I have no clue what to tell them. Especially since I just randomly walked up and started talking to you when we first met. There. Wait, I'm not trying to put pressure on you, I promise. I just have a bad feeling that we are both going to be in trouble with your parents. I have no clue what to tell them. So ever since I just randomly walked up and started talking to you when I first met. What do you say to that? I slowly and shakily nod in understanding as you reassure me that I, I'm not the only who will be in trouble. Only one but I can't deny the immense sense of dread and anxiety that I'm feeling going home. A part of me doesn't even want to return home. Oh, no. I continue clinging on to you, still crying and unable to speak for a moment as my mind starts to spin. Oh, sweet. Let's see. So, how do I continue any further? Are we almost there? Question mark. I will do the best that I can. With the polyrath and and your parents, period. But I can only do so much. I might be able to fix the But your parents are going to be pretty hard to deal with. Period. I I don't know. I feel bad for him. I don't want to put so much pressure on him. I look up at 
at you at your question and slowly look over ahead of us, seeing the path leading to my home not too far away in the distance. Anxiety and dread start to grip me as I realize that we are actually heading home and my heart rate speeds up even more. Yeah, W, we're almost there. I, I see my home, but I'm still really scared. Oh, dang gummit, dude. I'll try to lighten the load for you. Make it easier for you. Period. I'll try to deal with the polyrath. Excuse me. And you try to work things out with your parents. Period. I'll try to make it easier for them. As you know, I'm hoping that's good, easy enough for him. His parents are going to be pretty hard to deal with, and he's been gone from them for like these say months. That's the thing that's confusing. Like, I, I don't really know. I slowly nod at your plan, realizing that I'll have to talk to my parents by myself, which is a terrifying thought to me. I'm relieved that you'll be dealing with the polywag, but I still have to deal with the even scarier task alone. My heart rate goes even faster, but I just have to be brave. Yeah, oh, okay. I'll, I'll try and talk to my parents. I'll see if I can help you with both. Period. But one of the most important things right now is that you feel safe at your house. So I want to see if I can get him to calm down. Say so you can go anywhere and have fun with your family. Why did they put a question mark there? That's not. That's, that's, I don't know why I put a question mark there. That was weird. What was the full sentence I said? I'll see if I can help you with both, but one of the most important things right now is that you feel safe at your house. So I want to see if I can get him to calm down so you can go anywhere and have fun with your family. Uh. I slowly nod again at your words, feeling a bit more relaxed at the reassurance that you will try to help me any way you can. My heart rate slows down a little, and my mind starts to feel a little more at ease. Eventually, we arrive outside the front of my home, standing and staring at the building in fear. Oh, sweet Arceus. If you need to, take a deep breath before you walk in there. Because I know you were scared 
to have to face them. Period. Oh, dude. I take a deep breath as you tell me, and try to prepare myself both physically and mentally. My heart still beating fast, but I know there's no going back at this point, so I have no choice but to push forward. I look over at you and nod, knowing that I can't back out now. Oh, sweet Arceus. Now here's the hard part. How am I gonna handle that polygraph? Well, first, hold on, guys. All right, guys. Here's the situation we got. We're at the house. Carlos took his deep breath, and. We're we are now we we're about to knock on the door and wait for someone to open it. Let's see what happens from here. This is where it's gonna be kind of hard. I'm probably gonna do a lot of pausing because this is gonna be probably the what final leg of this conversation. Cause I have to deal with that polyrath and I have to um see what everything else. Wait. A moment passes after we knock, but soon enough someone actually answers the door. My mom pokes her head out and looks at us, and as soon as she sees me, her shocked face immediately melts into an expression of anger. Oh, sweet Arceus, that's not a good sign. I don't even know what to say to that. Like... I don't even know what to say to that. As it was me, I would look. We both back up a bit. At. I had to figure out the best way to word it. We back up a bit. Startled by the sudden anger. I mean, that's how I would feel. It's like you have for you have for alligator, whoever the parent is, poking her head out of the door, and in her face just turns to anger. It's like, oh heck, no! I'm th that's like saying for anger, angry at you in real life. You think you're just gonna sit there and look happy? I don't think so. You're gonna be backing up and maybe running. My mom stands there silently and crosses her arms, staring angrily at me with an intensity that makes me shiver. I stay silent and still, not even daring to look her in the eye, and my heart feels like it's beating out of my chest, beating faster than ever. Uh, it, it, the only thing is, is his mother a cro or his mother for alligator? Hey. If this is a Faragger, she's going to hurt me. Oh, sweet Arceus.
I don't even know what to say because I'm scared if I say anything to her, she's going to get mad at me and Cro her crow's going to be mad at me. So, I... I just want to... Wanted to... Help your son get back home. I say kind of nervously. She's going to be mad at us, dude. She's going to be so mad. She already is. She opens the door, peeks her head out, and has her face just turned to anger. She's going to hurt She's gonna hurt me, dude. My mom's intense, angry stare doesn't change even as you attempt to speak to her, and she slowly looks over to you, studying you up and down as her gaze remains cold and her expression still angry. She doesn't say anything yet, but her gaze only gets sharper and more intense as she continues to look you up and down. Uh... I promise I wasn't going to hurt your son, period. I just want to help him get back home and feel safe here. I don't know Cross I'm liking the reaction I'm giving. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm really having to confront his mother right now. And it's like, what the frick, dude? Oh, no. My mom stays silent and still for a moment, studying you up and down once more before finally speaking, and her voice cold and stern. So why is it you decide to approach my son? Why is it you think it's your job to help him? Excuse me? He had no one else. Period. He was left all alone. All alone with no one to help him. Period. He wanted a friend. And I offered to be his friend. Dude, this is intense. Why do I feel like this Friager is going to hate me? She's already, give, she's already given me the, why do you think it was appropriate to help him? It's like, are you kidding me? Oh, no. My mom listens to your explanation, but her cold, stern expression doesn't change at all, and her voice remains as cold and sharp as before. So you're saying you felt pity for my mm -hmm. son, and that's why you decided to get involved. Is that what you're saying? Sweet arses, dude. This is turning into an argument with a fur alligator. Dude, what the frick? Are you kidding me? Why is it that the parents are flipping acting... Even with the baby toe and all. But at least the mother in that one was kind of understanding. This one I'm trying to explain to where she's like, who cares? What the frick, dude? I don't even know what, what was I going to say. I felt bad for him. Because he was all alone. Period. And when we talked for a bit, and after he knew he could trust me,
he was telling me that he just wanted a friend that would love him for who he is. Dude, this is terrifying. I, are you, how do you explain this? I'm thinking for alligator over. I'm trying to explain to her the best I can, like what's going on. She's over there still having that cold. Uh, she's is she still angry at me? Let me listen to what she says. My mom continues to listen to your words, but her expression finally starts to soften just a little bit, her eyes not being as cold, and her voice slightly more calm, I see. You decided to try and become friends with him because he was alone, and he told you he just wanted a friend who would care about him. Is that right? Thank gosh, there we go. Alright, guys, we are going <sighs> to... That's right, ma'am. Exclamation point. He wanted a friend. And I offered to be his friend. Period. I feel bad for him. Felt bad for him. There we go. My goodness, dude. What the frick? Alright, guys. This is intense. We'll see what Fregger says to that after this.